Here is everything coming in the Uprising Collection event on December 5th in Apex Legends and every little detail that you may have missed. But let's start off with the fact that this collection event is going to be the longest to date. Normally, collection events only last for two weeks in Apex, but today it was announced that the Uprising event will go from December 5th of 2023 all the way into January 2nd of 2024. That's right, you can spend your New Year's playing the Uprising Collection event. Probably not the best thing to do, but there you go. So four weeks of an entire collection event, which obviously just means more time to spend money on cosmetics, but it also does mean more time to play the brand new game mode. But let's take a look at those cosmetics. We can see every single new skin that's coming in the event. Thanks to iLoot Games for sharing this. So we have an Ascendant Legendary Valkyrie skin. We have a Graceful Hunt Vantage, Divine Legion Bangalore, Thunderclap Gibraltar, a Sleek and Suave Ballistic skin, and the Allfather Chosen Bloodhound skin. Then for the legendary weapon skins we have the Lightning Strike Havoc, the Triple Stakes Triple Take, the Emerald Eye Charge Rifle, Tie the Knot Peacekeeper, Eye of the Idol Wingman, and the Full Dusk Flatline skin. Then for the epics we have the Shard Deco Car skin, the Nuvo Style L Star skin, the Gatekeeper Spitfire. Now we have the Defiant Usurper Mad Maggie skin, Perlescent Mirage skin, and the Divine Oracle Seer skin. And then we have a few banners right here. So we've got a Bloodhound frame, a Ballistic frame, Gibraltar frame, Bangalore, Vantage, and finally Valkyrie. And of course, like every collection event, if you buy everything in here, then you will unlock the Loba Prestige skin, which looks like this. I mean, I'm sure most of you have probably seen this by now, but the tier one looks like this and she kind of looks like a zombie. She's like got makeup on that's really, really pale. Or maybe it's not makeup, who knows? And you'll unlock the Translocator Skydive Trail straight away from tier one that can be equipped to any legend. And it's this kind of blue and purple magical look. Then for tier two, we get this. We kind of get a bit more of the wolf mask that you can see here. And finally for tier three, you have the complete set. And she also gets the enraged claws finisher at tier three, which can be equipped to any tier once you've had it unlocked. And have a listen to this. She literally growls in it. <laughs> So those are the skins that are coming in the event, but there is of course also a free prize tracker and you'd think with this being a month long event, it should have a lot of items in the prize tracker. And well, it has a good amount, but there's not a single Apex pack. Honestly, I'm really disappointed that there's no packs, there's no special event packs. There's nothing really that good in the free prize tracker. However, there are two awesome skins which we'll get to showing. So out of all of this, you get a few transition screens and charms, but the best things are the R99 skin, which you can see here looks beautiful with that cosmic background. And it also comes with a matching Octane Epic skin, which is beautiful. I I mean, these are awesome, but for a month long price tracker, I really was hoping for maybe some more event packs. But there is another way you can earn free rewards playing Apex. By signing up to Gamer Gains, you'll be able to earn real cash and crypto rewards for simply playing Apex. Here you can accept daily challenges to earn free rewards, launch the Overwolf app, and play Apex as you normally would. And once you complete a challenge, you instantly get a cash or crypto reward. Now, an amazing feature of Gamer Gains are the contests where you can join join contests and be ranked against other players on the leaderboard and climb your way to the top to earn big rewards. In fact, there's currently a December contest with $1,000 of rewards up for grabs and the top 800 players will get paid. There's only 2,000 entries available, so make sure you sign up to the contest and your top 10 ranked games will earn you points based on your performance, such as winning the game and getting kills, knocks and assists. So feel like a real Apex Pro by earning rewards for just playing the game. Game. Use my link in the description to get a free bonus when you sign up. And once again, thanks to Gamer Games for sponsoring this video. Other than that, we do get perks. And this is very likely them testing out perks to see if maybe this is something they could add in the future, but it's going to make Battle Royale really fun, and here's why. In the price tracker, every week you'll be able to unlock two perks, and at the end of the week, those perks will be reset, and you'll be able to earn the next week's set of perks. And both these perks can be active at a time, and they work on every legend in non-ranked Battle Royale. So, in the first week, once you level up the price tracker, you'll unlock the Grenadier Vision and the Grenadier Sling perk, which will both be 
be active in pubs and the Grenadier Vision will let you see grenades through walls within a small radius and the Grenadier Sling will let you carry one extra grenade per slot. So if you're playing Fuse, you'll be able to carry three grenades. It'll be mayhem. Similarly, in week two, you have the same thing but for healing items. So the Medic Vision perk will let you see healing items through walls and the Medic Inventory will let you hold some extra healing items. And once you get onto week two, you'll no longer have the grenade perk. Then in week three, you get the speed on knock and ability charge on squad wipe perk, which is exactly what it says. You get some extra speed after you knock someone and your abilities will fully recharge if you wipe a squad. And then the final week will have reduced tactical and reduced ultimate recharge, which is going to be mayhem in pubs. It's actually probably going to make it really fun because everyone will be getting their tactical and ult much, much faster. And I like what they've done here. It's a way of making pubs more fun without affecting the integrity of the game. Just like when we got the three strikes mode, a lot of people said that was really fun and they wanted it to be a permanent mode. And now they're kind of bringing a semi-permanent mode to pubs for an entire month. We're getting new passive abilities that we can cycle through. So all this alone already makes this one of the most unique collection events we'd have to date. And the game mode just makes it even better. So the brand new Revenant Uprising game mode will be a 30 versus 30 LTM. You'll have 30 legends against 30 evil revenants. Now the evil revenant clones look like this and they'll be able to run really fast and wall run and they'll basically attack you with melees just like in Shadowfall. But what's unique is one player will be selected as the red eyed revenant and this will be a revenant on the rev team that spawns with high tier armor and loot. So they're going to have like red shields and gold weapons and this revenant will be able to shoot the enemy is, so you've really got to watch out for this guy as he leads the army of revenants. Also, if a legend is killed, then they will get put onto the revenant army team and the legends have to survive until they reach the evac point where they can escape and win the mode. Now, this mode will be active for the first week of the uprising event and following that, it will come back every single weekend. You can see the dates on screen now, so it won't be here for the entire month, but it will come back every weekend, which I think is great. It'll be nice and refreshing to play every weekend. And I feel like this way people won't get bored of it too quickly and it will make the games much faster to queue into and just much more fun in general. Now, there's also something in the Uprising event that you don't want to miss. On December 5th at 10 a.m. Pacific time, there's an in-game event. That's right, one that you have to actually load into the game to watch. Now, I believe it's probably going to be something to do with the Revenant army approaching. If you look at the start of the trailer, you can see these giant ships in the air on Storm Point. So I believe this in-game event will probably have them appearing in the skybox and then you maybe have to go somewhere but all i know is in-game events are always fun and it's only going to last for the first hour on december 5th at 10 a.m pacific time so if you want to enjoy and play this in-game event with your friends then make sure you're ready at that time honestly it feels like this collection event does have everything we've got cool skins a whole new perk system an amazing game mode and a live in-game event now if you are someone who plans on getting the brand new loba prestige skin make sure you do it as cheap as possible. I say cheap, it's still going to be expensive, but in the store, there's going to be these two bundles you want to buy. You've got the Thunderclap pack bundle and the Graceful Hunt pack bundle, which will give you the two legendary skins and 10 of the packs for only 7,500 Apex coins, which will make it cheaper in the long run. And make sure you craft as many of the Epic skins as you can before you go out and buy the rest of the packs. So there's a breakdown of everything you can expect next week in the Uprising Collection event. Let me know if this is a good event in your opinion. Are you excited for it? And once it ends on January 2nd, it's only one more week until we get the next collection event. So stay tuned for that. I'll see you guys in the next one anyway. And let me know in the comments, should I give away the Loba Prestige skin to one of you guys? Let me know.